This is Robert Plank from papertemplate.com and let's make some landing pages for our websites using WordPress. In fact, let's make some landing pages that are a mix in between a regular blog and a sales area. You might have seen web pages like this where we have a web page and there's a bunch of navigation, there's a lot of uh, bright, pleasing to the eye colors, lots of white space, uh, end to end backgrounds, and this is WordPress, which is a point and click website tool, plus a plugin called Paper Template where we can have many different designs for our landing pages and sales letters. So the thing about having a WordPress site out of the box is this is a great way to point and click and add posts which are journal entries and pages which, which are navigation like your about us page or your contact page. And here's what WordPress looks like out of the gate. Something like this where we have different entries like this. So this is great for having lots of content and videos and things, but not so great if we want to make sales, right? Because well, we have all this different information and all these different links, but if you want to present an offer to someone, if you want to present an argument for someone to buy from us, which is a sales letter, this isn't so great because we want someone to read and read down and click and buy, and how are they going to do that if there's these this other navigation? So we use a plugin for WordPress called Paper Template, and we can transform our individual WordPress pages to look like this white piece of paper. But it gets even better because then we can even just click one button and transform our design to even have the same words and things, but try it out with this full width uh, design like we see on this website remote page or on this backup creator page. Uh, it's the same kind of idea. So how do we do this? All right, well, we go to papertemplate.com, and this is the plugin that allows us to create landing pages, whether they are the piece of paper or the more modern, colorful look and feel. We go to the very bottom and choose the $47 Ultimate version to get the multiple designs. And then we go to our WordPress blog. We go to the dashboard by going to whatever our site is .com slash WP dash admin, A-D-M-I-N. We go to plugins in the sidebar and in my case I do believe that paper template is already activated so uh, let's go to the paper template area and we can see the different pages we have now like I said a blog can have posts which are updates and journal entries or navigation like modules in your membership site or different sales letters or different opt-in pages or things like that so we want to say well I'm going to create a new landing page and I'll make it a sales page. So that's the first step here and that is where we're just gonna try out paper template out of the box and we'll make this go to robertplank.com slash offer so that we have simple navigation and this will just be a plain white ugly but effective but high converting sales letter. We click on publish and when we view this page well, we will see a plain white piece of paper. And what I like to do is I like to do a control minus, 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 plus, 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 and we can zoom in and out. And basically, if you are viewing this on a, say, like a mobile phone, see, like, say this is a giant sized phone here, uh, it makes sure to, uh, to, you know, fit in the screen. But if we zoom out, and maybe if we're in a iPad size screen, it looks like this, and we free control minus a few more times. Now this is in a, uh, in a, a computer web browser kind of screen. So we have our plain white piece of paper. And what do we do if we want to have a, a better looking design, such as with website remote here, or such as with backup creator? Well, there's two components to it. Uh, actually, there's three components. The first component is just setting it to have this full width. The other component is the font because a lot of the, the reason why this looks modern and effective because of the font we use here. And then finally, the color scheme, like do you want to have blues here or oranges or things like that. So we're looking at this page we created using paper template. We can always go back and change the wording later, but I'm going to go paper template. And instead of the regular paper template, I'll use the fusion template. This is the template we use for our modern looking sales letters. So we look at this and say, okay, well, we're kind of on the right track here. We have a, a better uh, kind of set of headlines here. And, but I want to go here and I want to say, well, instead of the 
default fonts, I want to try out, um, say, like Open Sans. That's a pretty good looking font. So then, now we can kind of zoom out here, and now we're getting somewhere, right? Now, this looks almost like the website remote page, uh, you know, except for the colors are kind of kind of drab there, uh, just kind of a, a white and a gray, but it's on the right track. Now we have just by changing the, the template itself to make it go all the way across, and just by changing the font, it's already kind of getting somewhere. We can go back to paper template and go to color scheme, and let's choose a blue color scheme, and now we're really getting somewhere. Now we have those splashes of color that really make the, some of these websites stand out. Now how do we make, for example, a bunch of splashes of color up front? I'm glad you asked. Well, what we do is we go and click Edit Page. And once this loads, we're going to high, our, click and hold down and highlight the area we want to have the splash of color and click on this quote, this block quote. And then boom, there's our splash of color. We can go down and select maybe this paragraph here and add another splash of color. Boom, that'll be another splash of color. And this will just, based on the color scheme, it will alternate. So you might have a blue block of text and then a gray block of text and then a blue block of text again. Let me, let me go and I will update this and I'll view the page again. And if we zoom out here, all right, now we're kind of getting somewhere. So we can play around with different fonts. If you want to see, well, I want my website to look a little bit different than everyone else's. And we can play around with different color schemes if we like oranges or we like greens or we like blues. That is how we can have these fancy full width looking templates. It's using WordPress and it's using this plugin called Paper Template and then it's using the Fusion template within that to transform it from a plain white piece of paper because remember we can just in one click switch it right back to the plain white piece of paper and see how we, we like that instead or we can then say, okay, well, I like the Fusion template better. So once you've chosen that Fusion template, then you can go and adjust the fonts we have a lot of built-in high converting uh, kind of fonts there and once you find a design that you like you say okay well I kind of like this uh, Source Sans Pro there I like that these fonts here now I can narrow it down to the color scheme that I prefer and then once you get the color scheme figured out you can just edit the page and you can uh, highlight the sections you want and then click on the quote to kind of make certain areas of your website pop. And this would be things like where if you have lots of headlines or you have a video or especially in that first block of text, if you want it to really pop, highlight it and click on the quote area, the quote button. And then if we're playing around with the, uh, the colors and the design, we can even test out the fonts right here within the editor, just go and uh, choose your your drop down selections here and we can change color schemes here change fonts here right within the point and click WordPress editor so to create web pages like you see on this one for website remote or to have this one for even backup creator or to keep it simple a regular plain white piece of paper while well, all of the above are using WordPress and paper templates. So we set up WordPress and that's what allows us to have a blog kind of area of our site. Then you install paper template and that's what gives us the plain white piece of paper. And then within paper template, you set it to the fusion template and then that makes it full width and you can choose your own font and your own colors to really customize it and really make it your own. The best thing about paper template as you saw here was we just created a new landing page and put it in this case at robertplank.com slash offer now if we wanted to we could have checked a box that says make this the front page of your entire site so if you want the paper template pages you create to take control over your entire site and the front door is a landing page and everything to click on is a landing page you can do that or if you don't want it to override your entire site you can do it like I did here see how at the front page of robertplank.com it's still a regular old WordPress blog but if I go to robertplank.com slash offer 
it is now the landing page that I completely customized and gave it some cool colors and things like that using the paper template plugin. You can claim that plugin at www.papertemplate.com. In order to get all the coolest features, including the templates I showed you today, choose the $47 Ultimate version. That's papertemplate.com. I'm Robert Plank, and that was how to create your non-sales letter style landing pages in WordPress using WordPress paper template and the built-in fusion template within that paper template. I'm Robert Plank, papertemplate.com, and thank you.